Hey folks, got another Bible review. This is a ESV Pit Minion in brown goat skin. I've reviewed the Pit Minion in brown calf split. I've reviewed the Pit Minion in black goat skin. This is the review for the Pit Minion in brown goat skin. Probably not going to be as in depth with this review on the contents. If you want to know more about the contents, you can check out some of my other Pit Minion reviews. I will at least list the the uh, details, or I'll kind of keep this as short as I can. Um, first, to start, it comes in this really nice box. All the Cambridge Bibles come in really nice boxes. You see brown goat skin leather, ESV, Pit Minion Reference Edition. So, if we turn it around, you can get a look at the ISBN number, and you can get any information from Cambridge.org. I'll uh, hold that right there, and you can pause that if you'd like to read more about that. All right. So, I'm going to move that out of the way. Now, this uh, pit minion was sent to me to, uh, to do some work to, and I wanted, I asked permission if I could review it prior to doing the work. And uh, the owner, a great friend of mine, he, uh, he was gracious enough to allow me to at least do a little video and talk about it. So, uh, thank you again, Michael. So, uh, here is uh, the brown goat skin edition. It's a really nice goat skin. Uh, has a really nice tooled line around the perimeter. I like it. A lot of people love the pit minion. The tooled uh, ribs are great. Um, if you've never seen any of my reviews, uh, the pit minion matches up with the uh, the Cambridge wide margin. So it's like a like a big brother little brother kind of deal. Uh, the, pa the page for page, they match up uh, exactly. So, if you're a, if you have notes in a wide margin, you can use this to couple with it. So, anyway, you can see the goat skin is beautiful. It comes with two brown ribbons, or the black edition comes with two red ribbons. These ribbons are not great. Uh, Cambridge is not known for using great ribbons in these editions. So when I do the liner change, that's what I'm going to do on this one, uh, I will add much better ribbons in, uh, in this edition. So when we open it up, uh, you can see the paste down liner, as all pit minions have. The, uh, the binding is not edge lined right here on the block. Uh, so what I'm going to end up doing is replacing this liner with a leather liner but it will also be edge lined. So the leather will cover about where this paper's covering and then it'll run up on the block about as the width of my finger. So uh, it'll be edge lined and I'm gonna put reinforcement behind there so it's gonna be stronger than it's ever been and it's gonna look really awesome. And it's gonna have new ribbons uh, and all that good stuff. And when we open it up, you have your, uh, your presentation pages, which you know, I don't know why Cambridge just has them blank. I guess just to put your name or whatever there. It's not presented to or anything fancy. Uh, it's just never been their thing to to fancy those up, which is which is fine. It's not a problem. And uh, the uh, Pit Minion is produced in the Netherlands by Youngblood. See the type set is six point seven five on a seven point lexicon, and uh, it is just really a great, great Bible. And uh, really, really nice. This is a 2011 text edition. You see it has a nice art gilt. A nice red under gold art gilt. Um, just really, really pretty. They really do a great job on these pit minions. The layout is a double column. Uh, reference Center column references. And like I said, it's a 6.75 font, so it's small. Just be be ready. If you don't have good eyes, have your readers on, have your glasses on, 
or something. Uh, I have to have my glasses to read uh, the pit menu. Anything under an eight font, I've got to have glasses. So I'm pretty used to wearing glasses a lot. So anyway, uh, any more about the uh, the edition, you can check out some other reviews. Uh, you can see it comes with some really beautiful head and tail bands on the brown edition. The uh, let me see, it does have, and I'll just kind of tell you, it has uh, it's Smith's own, of course, and it uh, has a concordance and it has maps in the back. I can try to show you those. It has some maps in the back along with the concordance, and uh, it's a black letter text, which is nice. Uh, my my uh, um, wide margin is a red letter text, so it's nice to see a black letter text in uh, in the pit minion. Uh, it's just really nice. So um, anyway, there's just not there's not much else to it. It's a it's just a great carry around uh, hand size small Bible. I'm gonna actually do another video showing the liner change after it's done. Uh, but before this video is over, I want to do a few size references so you guys can get an idea of the size of this Bible. So here's here's the thin line, ESV thin line. It's a uh, eight font, about eight font, something like that. Um, here is the Allen uh, PSR. It's about a seven and a half, maybe seven font something like that uh, but it's a single column so it's much thicker and then you have your uh, pit size which is just a hair smaller at least in height and width it's a little bit smaller it's a much thinner edition because of the smaller type and uh in double column and then you have like this little uh holman compact ultra thin kind of gives you an idea of the size of the pit minion uh so uh that way you can kind of maybe have a little bit better uh, perception of the size before you buy one so anyway let me move those out of the way uh and finish this thing up so it's beautiful uh it's really great it's going to be even better once we uh change the liner this will be a much floppier binding and a much more secure binding in the long run so looking forward to doing that for my buddy and uh and i'm uh, just really thankful to be able to review this edition as well so anyway thank you guys if you have any questions or if you want to know any more about the editions you can check out my other pit minion reviews uh sorry for cutting this one a little shorter but i just felt it really wasn't necessary to go into every little detail so anyway thank you guys again and uh don't forget about the giveaway bible check that out in my playlist and God bless.